So unless you're watching this on the International Space Station, you probably live here on Earth. Great place, you know? You know, water, oxygen, food, even some cool animals like my dog here. She's pretty dope. There are many reasons for staying here on Earth. First of all, we can breathe here. But if you're like me and you have a conscience, you probably feel like abandoning the Earth is a bad idea. Like, she's given us so much and we've used so many of her resources, and to just pretend like we have no responsibility and then to just leave the Earth, that doesn't seem like a good idea. If we can't take care of the Earth and everything it's given us, how can we be expected to take care of Mars or Enceladus or Europa, one of Jupiter's many moons? And you're right, we have to start taking better care of the Earth. As the human population grows, we put more and more strain on the environment. This is old news. More people equals more consumption, more use of natural resources, and less physical space. Soon, we'll be at a breaking point. We'll either have to reduce the population of humans on the Earth, and thus reducing our consumption, or we'll have to invent new technology that will allow us to stretch and more efficiently use our finite natural resources, like cows, coal, and water some of the most important finite resources we have today. But there's a reason amazing people like Elon Musk and the Mars One Project want to go to Mars now. And it's got to do with this. This is my simple representation of an asteroid. According to NASA, about 100 tons of space rock hits the Earth every day and gets burnt up in the atmosphere. Every 2,000 years, an asteroid the size of a football pitch hits the Earth and damages part of it. And scariest of all, every couple of million years or so, an asteroid one or two kilometers wide hits the Earth and causes a worldwide cataclysmic event. Like the extinction that caused the dinosaurs to go poof, just like that. Because asteroids are traveling so fast, at hundreds of thousands of kilometers an hour, when they impact with the surface of the Earth, they create a huge shockwave that radiates outwards. The shockwave has bits of dust, rock, and toxic chemicals that can cause a similar effect to a volcanic or nuclear winter. There have been several extinctions that have wiped out almost everything living on the planet, including the aforementioned asteroid that killed off our friends the dinosaurs. And what is truly terrifying is that we will probably never even see this asteroid coming. Because it's traveling so fast, our current monitoring systems would probably never even see it. The telescopes that we do have looking for asteroids are so few and so little that they'll probably never even see it. So this asteroid that would come to Earth and destroy all of humanity would appear like this in the sky. You'd see a red hot ball of fire, and then one second later, it would impact the ground. Boof. Dead. Because it is traveling so fast, it would compress the air underneath it, creating a giant stream of fire that annihilates any city, animal, or material underneath it. Kind of like a giant flamethrower. The shockwave would kill everything within a one or two thousand kilometer radius, and the resulting volcanoes, tsunamis, earthquakes, hurricanes, and nuclear winter would kill off almost everything else living. And what is most terrifying is that it's traveling fast, faster than the speed of sound, which means it would be silent. You would see the brightest flash that you've ever seen in your life, and then one second later, you would be obliterated. Now hold up, you say. This is very scary and whatnot, but the chances of a human extinction occurring are very small, aren't they? Well, the Earth has seen several mass extinctions in its time. And extinctions, when they're not caused by human carelessness, are natural. They allow the variety of life on Earth to change, and not to stagnate, and not allow one single life form to abuse the Earth's resources. But, history and geology shows us just how wrong we are. A single cataclysmic event, like a solar flare, an earthquake, a large volcano eruption, things that happen naturally every couple of thousand years on Earth could kill all of humanity instantly. All our culture, technology, all our potential, gone. That is the reason we have to colonize other planets and moons and other astronomical bodies in the solar system. Because the alternative is a very likely chance of human extinction in the next couple of thousand, if not hundreds of years. It's simple statistics. The Earth has been in a relative state of calm for the past million years, and in that time, humans have originated, advanced, and got all the way to where we are today, in 2016, 2017, 18, wherever you're watching this in the future. A cataclysmic event is overdue. The Earth should very soon experience a natural disaster such as a volcano, solar flare, earthquake, you know, what I mentioned before, and there will be nothing that we can do to stop our extinction. Unless, of course, there's a colony on Mars as well that can continue on the culture 
and great, you know, experiment that is the human consciousness. So that's why people like Elon Musk and organizations like Mars One are so keen to get out there and put humans on other astronomical bodies. So that if something really bad happens on Earth, our collective intelligence and culture will carry on on another planet and the human intelligence won't be lost forever. There's a very good chance we are the only intelligent creatures in the universe. Notwithstanding the dolphins and other intelligent animals on Earth, but we may be the only really super intelligent creatures in the entire universe. And that's worth preserving. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope I haven't scared you too much, but anyway, it's an ever-present fact. Asteroid, next couple of seconds, human extinction, it could happen. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.